good morning it is a nice frisk 53 degrees out this morning just looking at the weather app and it's supposed to be 38 degrees tomorrow morning so yeah it's getting to become that time of the year it's fair season right now too so when the fairs are going on you definitely know fall is right around the corner brutus i don't know what he's looking and searching for but he's sniffing something out the turkeys are growing good they're a little bit slow growing this year i feel like but that just means we'll have them longer before we process them and the one good thing about that is i'll be eating more grass and that'll make it more nutritionally is that how you'd say the word more nutritious and better and healthier for us because they're going to get more omega-3 fats in their diet and then we'll get more omega-3 fats in our diet so there's always a plus to that sometimes you like stuff to go faster but sometimes slower is better but they're looking good come on turkeys All right, we gotta do some figuring today. I wanna trim off the bottom and then the top, and then we're gonna put in some knee bracing. Knee Take, bracing? Uh, well, knee bracing, but up high. So would you call that shoulder bracing? So that way we can take out a little bit of the sway. Everything else is really good. And then we wanna get some wiring out here. Cause we wanna have plugs. We can put the smoker out here and then our pellet grill, that's all electric and then to get some light out here, which would be nice. So let's get this measured up first. Then we can go down to the shop, take out the table saw, do some ripping. So we wanna go five and a half inches. And then cut it to length. It will be doo -doo -doo -doo. 112 and a half. Okay, so let's run down to the workshop. We'll get this one cut to width, get it installed, and then after we install it, we'll figure out what we need for a length here. I'm gonna dress this up. I've had a lot of people saying this is not really enough room probably for what they would have for firewood and that they would have this thing full of firewood so that there probably wouldn't be room for a smoker, but we're not doing it the way you think we're doing, I think. So you'll have to stay tuned and see how we put our firewood in here. Yes. It's gotta be different and I am excited to have this done. It's gonna be so nice and convenient having our firewood here and having a place for the smokers. So yeah, I'm getting excited. Even though it's kind of something simple, it's gonna be life changing. All right, let's square this board up and we'll cut it to length and then we'll put it through the table saw. It's quite the process. What did I say, 112 and a half? Hope so. You go for a good okay. jog, mister. Cut 
Okay, so now we gotta go nine and a half. Ready? Yes. yes. Oh, it's like perfect. I like it. I like it a lot. It just cleans it up so much. I can't really see. Just dresses it up, a whisker. I had to do it. A lot of people want to know why you overbuild. Because it looks better. Um, and we need it to hold up. Right? This is, this this is just, just to make it pretty. This is just to make it look pretty because this is the side we're going to see all the time. That's all this is. This doesn't need to be that, but. I mean, that just cleans it up so much more. All right, so that was just to clean it up and make it look a little purtier. And I think it did that. It just makes it look clean. So, perfect. Now we gotta figure out our braces. I think we're gonna have to run to Lowe's, pick up some pressure treated two by sixes. And we're just gonna do the braces over here on this side, on the inside like this and this, on a two by sixes. And then on the front and back, I gotta cut some six by sixes at an angle. Are you just... sure that's not gonna mess up anything if you put a brace there? No. Okay. Not at all. So, It'll be like a 45 degree angle, so that's 36 inches. That's probably more than enough. Because we don't want to go four feet, because that'd be way too. So yes, this looks like to me it's finished, but it does need bracing because it has some sway. sway. Yeah, you definitely when you're up on the roof and stuff. So we do get a lot of snow, or we have in the past. Every year has been different, but this we can get a lot of snow, and it could be ice, any of that stuff. We just need to make sure this can withstand all kinds of weather conditions. We kind of, it's almost like we live in Alaska, but. We do have a lot of the same brutal conditions as Alaska we have. Maybe even worse, because we have such swings. We go from, we can get into 100 degrees during the summer. We didn't this summer, but we usually do have a couple of days of that. And then we can get down to, I see negative 40, Fahrenheit, we don't get that very often, but we can. We usually get negative in the 20s anyways, every winter. So there's big swings and we get lots of snow. So when we're building our structures, we got to plan for all of that. So we would be somewhere around here, which I don't think is too bad. I'm kind of curious, I'll mark that. And then that was what, 63? Just curious to see. If I mark it on this side, 63, and then go. I'm just curious to see how much full span we have. And we got over five feet with no braces. So yeah, that's perfect. So we'll cut four of them at 36 inches. We're gonna need them for the front and the back. Pick it up. Okay. Perfect, here we go. All right, let's slide it. And then I will cut the rest of this remaining. Ready? We're gonna pick it up and slide it. All right, right there is good. There's one. Okay. Let's slide it to me.
what I need you. <laughs> you want me to push the, use the screw gun, and then you hold it? So that angles, it's fine so in the back, see. I think, but not the front. The back is fine, yeah, because this is at an angle. Go 45, and then we're going to do an... All right, before we get the other three cut like that, let's go test fit it and see how it fits. All right, let's try this again and see how it looks. Come on, come on. Looks good. That looks nice. Okay, so this fits on this side. So bam. And then let's mark one more for this side. Because mm -hmm. when we're down there, the way the saw is set up, we'll cut one more that way. And then we gotta mark the angle for this side. Yeah. And then we gotta change it and cut one end a little bit differently. So we're gonna cut one and one, and then one and one. All right, one more, and then we'll be good. All right, that's done. But before we install these, we're gonna go take a ride to Lowe's and get some more lumber material. All right, we ran to Lowe's yesterday, got everything we needed. When Gina got there, she got a little distracted. They had big sales going on, so we didn't get any video footage of it, but. Is that what happened? That's what happened. You know, when you take your wives to Lowe's and Home Depot, they kind of get carried away sometimes. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but now we can get the corner braces up and then we can cut our other braces. It was 39 degrees out this morning. It's probably in the 50s right now. Sun is out. It feels good. Gina's all bundled up. I'm saying it's not probably. It is in the 50s. Yeah. It feels nice though. I like this weather. All right, let's see how we did making our funky angle cuts. Bam. I was gonna say, don't let go or you'll have a headache. That would hurt. I think I'd have more than a headache. You do? Yeah. Well, don't let go for sure then. I do. I did remember to pick up some new blades when I was out. So that is a good thing. I know, I keep seeing in the comments, everybody wants to know why I don't sharpen my blades. I don't have a way to sharpen them, and I don't know of anybody local that sharpens them. So, we have to buy new ones. All right, let's try out this new blade. We can get all these cut at a 45 degree angle on the four foot mark. Cuts like butter. All right, having just the front both sides done has taken a lot of the swale. Let's go to get the back two done. 
we'll see how that goes. Actually, I'm gonna cut a two by six for right here first. Uh, one twelve. Now we can attach our six by sixes. Okay. There we go, those are done. Oh yeah, I did a lot. So now we'll go this way. I like that. All right, I like that. So now let's do the same thing to that side. We'll get that one done. So I can still walk by underneath this with plenty of room. So I don't gotta worry about this being too low. So I'm gonna do it on that side and then we'll do the back on this side. And I just wanna figure out how many I want on that side because I don't want them in my way if I'm trying to walk into the boiler. The weather stays like it is. I probably shouldn't say it, but say it. we should be able to clean up all out back. All right, that actually sturdies it up quite a bit just doing that. I don't think I want to do it on the back side because if I want to walk through from the back side of the boiler, I don't want to have to worry about walking into this and I don't think I'm gonna do any here I don't know I'm still contemplating because I'm not gonna do them on the other side same reason because I don't want to have to for the boiler I'm always surprised how much putting in these diagonal braces secure everything usually I do it before as before like doing the roof and stuff but I wanted to get all these trim boards up before I put them on because I didn't have, I had like, I didn't have my header boxed in and I was gonna do that with the trim, but I needed to do the soffit before I did that. So that's why I did my diagonal bracing later because for functionality of looks more than anything. But yeah, I think it looks good. I am happy with it. It secures it all up. I got a big old mess to pick up right now. That's always the worst part about doing these projects. You gotta clean up everything afterwards. Now being self-employed and having a homestead, I always forget about holidays. We don't, we don't take holidays. So we weren't able to get our feed that we need before the holiday came. So I need to stop today and go pick up some feed. We need egg layer feed, we need broiler feed, we need some alfalfa for the cows, we're gonna need some pig grain. There's a couple other things, I made a list. So we need to go do that so the animals can eat tonight because they wouldn't be happy with me. I usually pay attention and plan around the weather, <laughs> not holidays. So when the stores are closed because of holidays, I'm like, oh yeah, that's right. We can't get the feed and they want that feed. So if I was thinking I would have ordered the feed and had it delivered with the hay, but I didn't. So I'd set out to town. It is a beautiful day for a ride. It'd be a beautiful day to do some more work on the firewood shed, but there's priorities. The animals need to eat and it gives the dirt around to dry out a little bit more in the sunny day. So 
probably needs that anyways. All right, we got what we need. Time to head back. I just had to laugh when I walked into the barn. I'm like, oh yeah, I want to restack some more of these shavings. I'm trying to stack them, get them all high. I just did some more, but I had to laugh because I'm like, been like my neck muscles been sore, my arms have been sore. I know we're doing the firewood shed, but man, that's not that much work. And then I forgot, I just stacked all the hay and the shavings the other night. Ah, uh, yep, that'll do it. Maybe chuckle. That is second cut hay for Azalea at night, so we get some awesome milk. We do have some round bales and haylage on order, but those won't be getting delivered for a little while. That'll be getting fed when the grass isn't growing during the day. This is for nighttime for Azalea when she's in the barn. I picked up some first cut hay today, and that is for country. He will be getting moved in with the in the woods cow posse soon. We just want to wait and see if Azalea goes back into heat or if she's pregnant. Because if she needs to get back in with country, it'll be a lot easier if country's down here by himself to bring country in with Azalea again. Or if he's in the woods, we're going to have to try to round him up and get him. I'm sure it'd be somewhat easy, but it's not going to be as easy if he's by himself. So we're going to leave him by himself for probably two more weeks now. It's been a week since we put her in with him. We didn't see any action happen, so we're not sure if they did and we just missed it. We're not sure if we missed it and we put her in a day too late. So we just kind of rather wait and see. So we have to feed country some hay, otherwise he would be up in the woods with all the other cows eating all of the grass and the leaves from up there. And those cows are doing awesome. So I have to bring this hay over down to his barn. I gotta unload the feed. These bins have been working great. These are from High Country Plastics, the name brand. We got them, I think, from PBS or some education. I think we got it from some educational website. The bins themselves weren't bad pricing. But depending on where you live, you're going to have to search different websites for the best shipping. The place we got them from, Nesco, Nesca Education. It was a weird website. It was some kind of educational website at the end of the end. They had really good flat rate shipping on these. Everybody else wanted more money than the bins for shipping. So if you're looking for them, search for the best shipping. It is the next morning and I just realized I didn't make a sign off for yesterday's video. So this is where we're going to end this video. It feels good having all the hay, shavings, and now grain in the barn. It's getting to be that time of the year. It's 50 degrees out right now, so we know, I hate to say it, winter is coming. So it feels good to have the barn stocked up. It feels good to have all of the structural part of the firewood shed done. Hopefully the weather stays and we can get it all cleaned up and finish the dirt work. So thanks for coming along on our homesteading journey. You guys are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and we'll see you right back here in the next video. Bye.